Hey everyone, I'm Nate. And I'm Abby. We are the RC Sailors, and today we're going to give our shot at a review of the Shanghai Galaxy D97 quadcopter. This is advertised as being a Wi-Fi ready FPV quad for a budget price tag of only $55. We got ours on GearBest.com for $54.82. You get a nice little box that does come with a handle on top. Unfortunately, it's not made like our favorite RC boxes. It opens on the side and then the pouch slides out and all the stuff is in there. What comes in the box? Let's take a look. The quadcopter itself with the camera on the bottom. It does come with, with the camera mounted. The landing gear were not mounted on the quad. I just snapped those on cool. very easily. They pop right in and no screws or anything are needed to hold those on. Some red and black writing, 2.4 gigahertz superior. And then that says- It looks like the a Transformers H. logo on it. That's kind of cool. It says the Avengers. Nice. <laughs> so the quad looks pretty cool. It looks like your nice average white uh, quadcopter, little budget quad. Yeah. All right, let's take a look. We have also uh, a couple pages of instructions. Uh, this tells you the basics of how, oops, sorry, of how to fly your quad. Uh, getting it set up and taking off for the first time. Pretty the good. foreign translation to English is rough, but it is uh, legible. So there's that. Uh, we'll toss that to the side. Uh, the other page of instructions, uh, the back is illegible to me, and this is English. And it actually uh, ha does a pretty good job of telling you how to set up the app and the Wi-Fi connection on your mobile device for FPV. We'll get to that in just a second. My favorite part of this quadcopter is the very pretty blue lanyard to hold the transmitter. Oh my gosh. It looks really good when it's around Nate's neck. Yeah, I think I'll take the lanyard off. And it feels just like really cheap, like hobby ribbon. Yeah, it's just it's ribbon. It's not. But they uh, did, I mean, they did so At least they put one on, and thank you for doing that. I like the color. It's kind of nice to have a lanyard. It looks good with my shirt. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't believe I'll be using it. It just kind of gets in the way. I will take that off. Uh, when you get the transmitter, you don't have this little black thing on the top. That is your phone. Just pull the top. There you go. See, it stretches out. And large phones do fit in there. You know, mobile devices do fit in there pretty well. You can adjust the angle of it nicely. And your controls are pretty basic. You've got your joystick controls, trims. And the top left button here is to change the flight mode, I believe. And the top right is for flips. Um, all of your camera controls are on the app. Get a bag that comes with the landing gear. I already took that out and put it on. You get four prop guards. Abby and I are finally both to the point where I don't think we need prop guards anymore, so we'll be leaving ours off. But if we have a friend fly or something, we'll put those on. It would be neat if you could like build what you wanted to come with your quad. Like, oh man. With That's props, a million dollar prop idea. Prop gear without prop gear. I like that. With camera without camera. I like that. That's a good idea. Wow. Run with it. It's yours. Um, two props. Uh, not four, but that's okay because props these days just don't snap. I don't know why they even include extra props, to be honest. Handy dandy screwdriver. There's a screwdriver and in there screws. and some screws for the prop guards. And then the charging cable, which is like a couple know, feet or so. Feet my arm. That's a nice little USB charge cable. Here is the tip. Show them. USB and this is getting pretty common now. That's what you get in the box. Gonna get you. Now this is a 2.4 gigahertz quadcopter that runs uh, the FPV portion flies on a Wi-Fi signal. That's what this big black antenna is sticking out of the bottom of the camera. I have been reading and watching and researching and reading more and more and trial and error. I'm a, a little over an hour into this now trying to get my quadcopter to connect to my Wi-Fi on my phone or vice versa, uh, my phone to connect to the Wi-Fi from the quad. I've tried every single possible route and solution. I've done this on other quads. I do believe I know what I'm doing. I haven't tried Abby's phone, which is an Apple device. Mine is a, um, Popeye's licking my arm. Get away, Popeye. Stop licking me. <laughs> I couldn't get it to connect. So unfortunately, you're not going to get to see the video quality in this review because 
this records directly to your phone. There is no memory card on this. It just would record directly to your phone. You also won't get to see the live Wi-Fi signal because I couldn't get it to work, but we can still fly it. So let's go give this quadcopter a flight review by Nate and Abby, the RC sailors. Let's go outside and let's have a little go. fun. All right, here we are outside in the front yard. Abby wanted me to show you our awesome new fall wreath decoration with a spotted S on it for sailor. Okay, let's take a look. Abby's out here getting her quad ready to fly. We're gonna bind it up and she's gonna be the first one to fly it this time to show you guys some cool stuff on this quadcopter. Transmitter on. She's turned the quad on, the little switch there. Green lights. The lights look great. You let it kind of level off for a second. Then with these guys, you have to do a throttle up and then down and now you're bound and you can fly. Are there green lights for the back? Uh, yeah. Yep, that's right. Red lights are the front, green is the back. That's weird. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like it has pretty good yaw rates. You're flying nicely. Oh, I forgot. Yeah. That is confusing. Yes. And that's me cutting out. That's not the quad. I like to cut out. <laughs> I need to stop because it makes it look like it's quad spot. Go ahead. Maybe try a flip and the rate. How do I do nice. That's the top right button. Just hover it for a second. Yeah, it should be top right button plus a direction. Again, uh, try it one more time. There you go. Whoa. Good job. Good flip. Try one a little Keep closer. Just push the stick forward and whichever way it goes is forward. Try to keep this one clean-ish. And I'll try upping your rates. Maybe you'll fly better. Top left button. Oh my goodness. Well, it's pretty durable. It bounces. Top left? Uh-huh. Okay, take off. And you can do it mid-flight too. She's, she's just a uh, little new to flying. Better rates are better, yes? Nicer to fly? Harder. Oh yeah? Let me show them the flying on this now. You land it and I'll... Okay, good job. How many rates are there? There are three rates. Abby was doing okay at flying, uh, but I want to show you guys what it's actually capable of here. So I'm going to start off in the mid rates. <laughs> Shadow. Here we go, rate, you were so rate two, okay? <laughs> Seems like it's trimmed up okay. Um, here's here's rate two. I'm gonna zip it around for you. Rate two is pretty nice. I like it. It's zippy. It's uh, feathery a little bit, but it flies okay. And let's do rate three now. Three beeps for rate three, and uh, it's got too much pitch for it lift. There we go. That's about as fast as I can get it to fly. Right there. I'm out, I can't see. Let's do the street again. I'll get it to fly as fast as I can. Having some range issues right there. That lost the signal, so the, the range is not great on this. Let's do a flip. Flips are okay. Don't mind them. And that's full throttle. So I must be losing my battery. Oh, wow. My signal is really... Well, we are flying with the camera and not using the camera because we couldn't get it to work. Yeah, my signal is, uh, feels pretty weak. I don't well, we're only is... four minutes in. Yeah, that's, let's, let's give you full throttle punch off the ground. Oh, oh no. So here's full throttle punch. Ready, go. It's not horrible, but I've seen a lot better too. And I just feel like my signal's cutting in and out. Uh, I've, I've lost my front lights too, I think. Unless they're just, no, they're no, really they're just hard to see. They're the really hard to see, yeah. Okay. Oh, there's a car coming. Well, I'm trying to get it to flip upside down. I did save it. It's hard to see because it started flying in front of the trailer thingy. Oh, okay. <laughs> so you should do it again. Okay. Do it in front of the Abby's house. Yeah, our neighbor's last name is my first name. Uh oh. I also really do not like. Whoa. 
I really don't like when the red lights are in the front. I'm okay on orientation. That was confusing. When you push the forward stick forward and it tips forward, that's how you know what forward is. But for newer flyers, it helps to be able to look at it and see what forward is. And when you have red lights in the front, that's just opposite to most Americans, anyone that drives a car. So uh, let's try one more time. And that was full throttle trying to punch out of it. Oh jeez. It's a, uh, it's a good zippy flyer, but I feel like my signal's cutting in and out occasionally. Yeah, it's unfortunate that this was fifty, almost fifty-five dollars, and the camera is supposed to be FPV. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, and it doesn't work, I so agree. that kind of makes it a fifteen, twenty-dollar quad, really. Maybe you know, I would honestly pay thirty bucks for this. The way it's flying, I'd pay thirty dollars for it. Do you want to fly more? Sure. Okay, because I'm I'm good. I know what it's I liked do. the first rate the best. Oh really? Well, let's show them show them how to push the button. Uh -huh. Okay, back one on rate one. Here goes Abby. Got a little wind going too, by the way. You can see here how she's zipping that around, trying to get a battery life idea. Show you the trees. You know. Oh. Now this is important. Everybody, Abby just crashed and it was upside down on the grass. She killed the throttle so as not. Just look really funny. Sorry. She killed the throttle so as not to burn up any of her motors. And killing the throttle just means pull the left stick all the way down. So you don't burn up any motors. Uh, a lot of people make that mistake and we hear about it all the time. Nice, good job, you saved it. Whoa! Like you don't get as much throttle or what do you mean? Yeah. It's not that heavy of a camera, so it should be able to pull out of it. You're doing good though. Yeah. The yaw rates do change with the modes. So she's got it on the uh, beginner mode right now. Oh, it flips upside down easily, doesn't it? Yeah. I got it for you. Yeah. I think you would fly well on intermediate with this one. I feel like that's a good rate for you. Car's coming. Yeah, we usually don't fly anywhere. Right. Whoa. <laughs> he was looking at it. <laughs> Everybody likes quadcopters. Yeah. Uh huh. Looks good. It's okay. Still looks all right. Come on, we got some wind going. She just threw, flew through the power lines. Okay, cool. Yeah. So low battery here. We got blinking lights at about nine and a half minutes. Oh, God. Right around nine and a half minutes, well, we're getting our blinking lights. Want me to kill it all the way? Um, I think that's good. We we did this. You're really not supposed to do that. We did this on our Vista review, and everybody told us don't do that. And I said, well, we know, but we wanted to show you how long it can fly with the blinking lights. I didn't so know people told us that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. A lot of people. Oh. So blinking lights Sorry, are about nine. We did it for you guys minutes. out of pure love. <laughs> well, that's the Galaxy D97. It'll fly for probably about eight to nine minutes with the camera on it, mounted, and the landing gear. Mm -hmm. Add those prop guards and you'll probably lose 30 seconds or so. Uh, I like how it flies. I like all the bells and whistles that comes with the quad. Uh, some of them are unnecessary. The screwdriver and the uh, prop guards for myself and Abby now. I don't like that red's the front and green's the back. I also don't like that. They should have reversed the lights, but the lights do look good. 
Um, all in all, the red lights are hard to see in the daytime. I like this quad and I like the idea of it, but I don't think it's worth that amount of money. With all the other competition out there now, uh, this is just one that you should probably pass on. And it's unfortunate that the FPV wouldn't work. Right. For us. For us. Maybe there are others out there that it's worked on. If you pick this up and your Wi-Fi works just fine, let us know in the comments section. Also, if you have an idea on how we can get ours to work, let us know in the comments section. I don't claim to know it all. Uh, in fact, I don't know very much at all. This is the Shanghai Galaxy D97. That's good, yeah. We got ours at GearBest.com, 54 or 80 something. Subscribe! If you haven't seen it, uh, we did a food versus quadcopter. It's like a ham sandwich versus quadcopter video, and it was a lot of fun. Uh, we threw popcorn at the quad in we, slow motion. You said popcorn. I know. <laughs> Uh, and it was a lot of fun. I ate the popcorn. We're looking for recommendations. Uh, go watch that video. I'll have it linked here for you. And if you give us the right combination of food or awesome mm -hmm. things to throw at it, then at the end of October, we'll be giving you a free RC quadcopter. Free RC quadcopter. Free. That's what we said. Thanks so much for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.